My name is Dr. Katie Lynn. I'm an emergency physician, STARS Air Ambulance Transport Physician, and Stroke Physician with the Foothills Medical Centre in Calgary. I'm here to provide some background on the upcoming provincial transition from Alteplase, or TPA, to Tenecteplase, or TNK, for stroke thrombolysis. On November 1st of 2022, Alberta Health Services will be transitioning province-wide to the use of Tenecteplase, or TNK, for treatment of eligible patients with acute ischemic stroke. Any providers involved in acute stroke care, especially in the pre-hospital and early emergency department or hospital phase of stroke management, should be aware of this change as it simplifies thrombolytic dosing protocols and expands transport options for acute ischemic stroke patients who receive thrombolytic therapy. This change has been jointly approved and endorsed by AHS provincial stroke, pharmacy, EMS, and executive leadership teams. So let's start with what Tenecteplase is. Many of you will be familiar with Alteplase or TPA. This is our current thrombolytic agent of choice and is used in the treatment of approximately 10 to 12% of patients with acute ischemic stroke in Alberta. Acute stroke thrombolysis in Alberta is provided by 17 hospital centers, including two comprehensive stroke centers in Calgary and Edmonton, and 15 primary stroke centers located strategically across the province. Alteplase is a tissue plasminogen activator. It works as a clot-busting medication by breaking down fibrin strands that form blood clots. It is dosed at 0.9 milligrams per kilogram, with 10% of that dose given as a bolus over one minute, and the remaining 90% infused over the following hour. The maximum dose of Alteplase is 90 milligrams. Compared to Alteplase, Tenecteplase is a modified tissue plasminogen activator with more fibrin specificity. It is the current standard thrombolytic agent for acute myocardial infarction. In acute ischemic stroke, it is given as a single bolus dose of 0.25 milligrams per kilogram IV to a maximum dose of 25 milligrams. Note that this is half of the standard acute myocardial infarction dose. There is no need for subsequent infusion. Indications for tenecteplase use are the same as they were for alteplase in acute ischemic stroke. The risk of symptomatic intracranial hemorrhage and bleeding is also the same as Alteplase at around 3 to 4% of treated patients. The recently completed ACT trial, led by Alberta researchers involving over 1,600 patients across Canada, confirmed that Tenecteplase was equivalent to Alteplase for treatment outcomes and safety. So, why are we making this transition? Well, there are several pragmatic benefits to Tenecteplase over Alteplase. First, the simplified dosing protocol reduces the risk for medication dosing errors. Second, since tenecteplase can be given as a single bolus dose with no need for infusion, it may help to reduce the transfer of care time for patients who need to be transported from a peripheral hospital site to a comprehensive stroke center. Finally, it allows for consideration of BLS ground crew transport for appropriate post-thrombolysis acute ischemic stroke patients. Due to the potential for thrombolytic-related complications, decisions around transport will be at the discretion of OLMC and transport physicians according to patient and resource factors. On November 1st of 2022, Tenecteplase rollout will begin with rural primary stroke centres in Alberta. The remaining province-wide supply of Alteplase will be moved to Calgary and Edmonton to be used until the existing supply is depleted. Once the existing stock of Alteplase is depleted, which we anticipate to be around January of 2023, Tenecteplase will then be uniformly in use for stroke thrombolysis across all centres province-wide. We hope that this has been helpful for providing some context on this upcoming change.